And this morning, a new sense of urgency about the threat of Russia. Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill joining forces to designate Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. The National Desk's Christine Frizzell reports. In response to growing global isolation, Russia appears to be on a friendship tour. Vladimir Putin seen here meeting with leaders in Vietnam following a two-day visit in North Korea where he signed a mutual defense pact with dictator Kim Jong-un, prompting a new bipartisan effort on Capitol Hill for Russia to be designated a state sponsor of terrorism. Russia deserves to be in this small selective club of atrocity committing killers. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine two and a half years ago, with much of the West joining forces to assist Ukraine, Russia has relied on countries like China, Iran, and North Korea to keep its economy moving and its weapon supplies flowing in. And the warnings run deeper than just here on Earth, with fears that despite signing a United Nations treaty vowing not to do so, that Russia may be positioning itself to deploy nuclear weapons in outer space. This would be a catastrophic and devastating attack upon Western economic and democratic systems. Vladimir Putin knows this. Checkmate. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner warning of an emboldened Russia, already flexing its military muscles and space capabilities, and calling on President Biden to declassify the status of Russia's program. He's accusing the Biden administration of sleepwalking into what he calls an irreversible day zero, the day Russia launches its nuclear anti-satellite weapons into orbit, the day after which, he says, no one will be able to rely on space. This crisis is the Cuban Missile Crisis in space, and the administration is failing. If there's something that's going to touch every human being on the planet, that's probably something that should be at the top of the list. A list of threats that appears to some to be growing by the day. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting for The National Desk.